Hello everyone, uh, Konami has decided that I need to do one more React video this week and they released the Forbidden and Limited list, the ban list, it is here. So let's check it out so I can finally release some more deck profiles without having to worry about the ban list ruining them before they come out. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's start, let's start a slow scroll. All right, all right. Nothing so far. No main deck monsters. No, no main deck monsters banned. Okay. No fusions banned. No links banned. Oh, Ixie's banned. Kashira Arise Heart. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, this effectively kills Kashira as a deck, like on like on its own. Uh. Cashier Fenrir is still quite strong, uh, so I could see that being played in a lot of other decks. Like Cashier Fenrir is being played in, uh, or what was played in Sprite, I believe. Um, but Cashier Arise Heart uh, is the most important part of the Cashier deck, and this uh, really hits that hard. Good. Uh, Cashier Arise Heart is an annoying floodgate, uh, and it deserves to go away. So, um, bye. Good riddance to bad rubbish. All right, uh, no spells, no traps. Okay, let's look at what's limited. Limited, limited, limited. Oh, Bestial Magnumut. Okay, so this does change some things for me. I need to change some side deck cards uh, for a lot of my stuff because the the Bestial package was a good side deck option. Um, but the Bestials are really fucking annoying. So I'm glad this is getting hit finally. Uh. Basically, it makes any light and dark deck, uh, like, unplayable. Like, not not all of them, but, like, a lot of them were just rendered unplayable because of this. This is a good, this is good for Drytron. This is good for that new Ritual deck that is coming out. Uh, what was it called? Uh, Silent Forcer. That's right. Uh, this is good for a lot of things. Um, so, yeah, light and dark decks rejoice. Uh, Ubel. Ubel is going to be benefiting from this for sure. Uh, not seeing any more. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh, here we go. Chaos Space. So this is for Dragon Link, which is like okay, but it did really well in Worlds. Uh, so I guess that's why they're hitting it. Sure. Okay. I mean, they've already hit the top deck, I suppose. But what about? Pearly? Uh, nothing semi-limited. Herald Leonage, like, taking off, that's probably fine. It was semi-limited, so... Uh, and then Salaman Great Gazelle, uh, this is also fine. Uh, Salaman Great probably needs this back, honestly. Uh... So, that's... Five changes total. That's probably fine. I, I would like a hit to Pearly, but also they already hit Pearly last time, and that was like a pretty early hit. So maybe giving Pearly a little bit more time to play is good. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I'm happy with the hit to Arise Heart. Uh, I could have seen a hit to Fenrir, maybe. Limit, limiting Fenrir would have might might have been good. Uh, I mean, if Dino Wrestler or Pankratops is limited, then Fenrir should probably be limited, you know? Uh, so just Fenrir searches itself, you know? Of the Bestials to hit, uh, Magnumut is the right one, I think, because it searches the other Bestials. Uh, Chaos Face is a weird hit. I don't think I would have hit Chaos Face. If you want to hit Dragon Link, you have to ban Hieratic Seal uh, of Heavenly Spheres. That's the one to hit. Although at this point, that might not even be the case. You might need to hit Boral and Dragon too. But like, hitting the payoffs are what stops Dragon Link, I think. Not hitting the consistency enablers. Because there's always going to be more consistency enablers for Dragon Link. There's always more. Like, not, not only are there just already 
a ton of dragon consistency enablers, they just keep printing more because they keep making dragon archetypes. So hitting a, a consistency enabler doesn't change anything. I mean, it might temporarily change something, but then they're going to print some more dragon archetypes and then there's going to be another one. And I, I just don't think hitting consistency is the right way to go anyways. Uh, I, I feel like every deck should have should be as consistent as possible. Like, hitting consistency is just unfun. A, a, a really powerful deck that's inconsistent is really boring. Uh, like, like, like if, if we had kept hitting, like, Fenrir and Unicorn instead of just hitting a Rise Heart, Kashtira would still be just as annoying. It would just be less visibly, anno visibly annoying because we, people would stop playing it because of the inconsistency. But it would still be really fucking annoying when someone made a Rise Heart pass. So I, I think hitting the, the high, the high, the ceiling is much better than hitting the, the consistency. Uh, and that's what they did with the Rise Heart, but that's not what they're doing with, you know, Chaos Face and even Magna Mutt to its descent. Although Magna Mutt is also a different situation, really, because that one's also just been in a ton of side decks as a, as a Bestial package. I wonder how the Bestial package changes from here. Like, do we get rid of it or do we just play one Magna Mutt, one Druist Worm, maybe like, uh, just like another one of the other names? Uh, I don't, I don't know exactly which one you would put in off the top of my head. Um, probably the one that kind of looks like a gargoyle. I don't, I don't remember its name. <laughs> oh no, I don't remember its name. Um, the, the unlimits are fine. These are, these are both fine, I think. Herald of the Orange Light is more annoying uh, of the ones here, but again, it was already semi-limited, so who cares? Uh... Let's see what what changes from here. Uh, I think Drytron uh, gets a big boost here. I don't know if that makes it playable, uh, but it gets a big boost for sure. Uh, like I said, Silent Forcers gets a big boost uh, when they come out. Uh, Ubel, same for Ubel. Um, really light lights and darks and things that use the graveyard. I think are the ones that get the biggest boost. Uh, so Exosister, I think Exosister, uh, still has a place in the meta, um, because of, uh, Pearly. I, I think Exosister is good against Pearly, um, and not having to deal with as many Bistials and a Rise Heart, I think helps, uh, Exosister. Although Exosister doesn't care much about, as much about a Rise Heart, it's mostly the, uh, the Bistial part. Uh, but they do have Light Monsters. Um, or they do have some things that go to grave. I mean, um, and they banish cards, which activates some of the cash tier stuff. So if you see less cash tier, it's probably going to be a little bit better. Um, let's see here. Anything else? Uh, dragon link is going to take a hit and cash tier is going to take a hit. Pearly is not going to take a hit and thus is going to be, uh, elevated because of that um i don't think rescue ace is particularly benefited by this uh oh branded chimera is going to get a big boost because no arise heart the lack of arise heart i think is going to really benefit branded chimera and the abyss deals too to an extent although uh, i think that's going to be less right because they don't use a whole lot of light and dark they use some, for sure, but they don't use a whole lot. Um, but yeah, I guess any boost is, is good for them, and we might they might be really bumping up. Uh, Sprite, Sprite is gonna get a boost because uh, they have a lot of light and darks, and they use the grave. Um, yeah, I, I think I think those are the big ones. Uh. So Sprite Runic, Pearly, and uh, Branded Chimera are uh, probably going to be our like top dogs here after this list. 
And the list doesn't release for like another 10 days. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, or it doesn't go, come into effect for another 10 days. I don't know exactly why. Maybe, maybe there's an event I'm not aware of. Is it? Oh, probably the uh, one in Cancun, right? Uh, that that would cover that and then some. Um, yeah. Uh, overall, I guess I'm okay with this. I would have preferred a more robust list that hit a few other things. And uh, I really would have liked a hit to Droll. I fucking hate Droll. Um, a hit to Dimension Shifter. I fucking hate Dimension Shifter. A hit to uh, any of the fucking evenly mat. Any, any fucking big blowout cards. I want them gone. But especially Dr Droll and Shifter. I, I think those are just stupendously unfun. Um, any any game that they're coming out is a fucking non-game, just just awful. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, excited about the new format, I guess. I'm excited to not have a rise heart. I'm excited to not have a rise heart for sure. Um, and a, le a less bestials. Uh, very good. That part's very good. I w wish there's a little bit more going on here, but I'll take it. Um, and you know what? Not really any changes to my list besides the side deck bestials. So I'm excited to not have to change very much. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for joining me and watching this ban list unfold in front of my eyes. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey there, thanks for watching another video. Why don't you give it a like, share it around, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell for notifications. You know, the YouTube stuff. You can also follow me on Twitch and Twitter for more content. I got content plenty for ya. You can also support the channel by giving me money. You have a Patreon. If you join the Patreon, you can show up in the credits over here. I would really appreciate that. You can also use my TCG player affiliate link to get any singles, sealed product, or accessories that you want, all to start reporting the channel at the same time. That's all for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and have a wonderful rest of whatever time it is for you. Bye now.